When I grow up, I'm going to be a scientist. As many of you know and have probably heard, I am filming a uh, post-apocalyptic zombie movie, um, hopefully sooner than later. Many of you have already helped me on this um, in terms of crew, actual being in the cast, writing, ideas, anything. Getting zombie actors and it was a kind of a failure when we went out there to the uh, location. We got shut down by the cops. We had, I had permission to be out there and I was under the impression that in the release form it said NWP Films, which is what I own, and I assumed that everyone on set would just be a part of that, but the cops let the owner know that each individual person needed their own release form, which I took full responsibility for me uh, miscommunicating that with him. But I have to say it was a big learning experience even though we didn't get to do anything. Uh, rallying up people, learning what I did wrong just in that, getting out there and people beating me out there. I should always be the person out there. Um, we had some faulties there whenever you're not first out there and can be clear about what can be done and what can't be done. Um, there was just so many people that showed up here. Um, we had all our zombies, we had all of our cast. Uh, there was just a few dropouts, and I mean, that's expected. But uh, it was really exciting to see the turnout. Um, even though it got shut down, I'm still looking forward to doing this. Now, with that being said, some things are going to be different. It's not going to be in one day. It's not going to be filmed in one day like I had originally planned. This gives me a lot of time to sit back, figure out what I did wrong with what we did, fix that, fix the script, write it however I see fit, improve parts, work on parts, add parts, take away parts, all that. Um, and hopefully when I'm ready to shoot this in parts so I can really focus on the story and not rush it too much. I, I, I do want to be quick about it because it's not our property, but I think I was trying to rush it too much. It, it's a huge it's a huge product, project, even if it was only a few minutes, that's so many people that I have to work with and convey my ideas to, and it's hard to do it all um, when you're rushing things. So with that being said, in the near future, hopefully everyone that showed up is still going to be game, still going to be ready to do it. There's some equipment that I feel I should probably invest in before doing this. Um, just in the short amount of time I was out there on set, I could hear, you know, a lot of wind muffling coming through my microphone, which was our, right off the bat, that's not good. I do have a muffler on my mic, but with the current wing conditions and me moving around, it became a problem that I didn't see coming. I thought that the mic and the muffler I had did well because since I've used it before, I've never seen any issues. So that's you know one thing. There's a couple other things I noticed I wanted to do differently. Um, the biggest one is film in sections because if I'm down here doing a scene with you know these people and everyone else is up here doing this, I feel like at times the people that really aren't that involved in the film are going to feel neglected. Um, so I think getting them on set the day that they're ready to go and they're utilized, they'll feel more important. That being said, they'll be more energetic and more ready to go. So we have named the film uh, Black Tide. Um, and it's, got, it's a really cool story. I mean, it takes place two months into a zombie outbreak. Um, my take on the zombies is a little different. The backstory is kind of a mystery, and the actual story itself isn't about zombies. I think that's what makes it cool. It's about, you know, survival. That's really what it's about. I mean, the format would be, you know, short narrative film, um, but the genre would be uh, survival, I think, because. You have all these different characters with all these different emotions and feelings and relationships, but inevitably, you're understanding how they survived. 
And uh, at the end of the at the end of the film, you really understand why I say it's a survival type of movie, um, rather than oh my gosh, it's zombies. Woo! I love zombies. Don't get me wrong. I think that's sweet. But in keep in mind, I really if the story isn't good, I don't want to film it. I wrote the story, so I think it's good. But um, I've had other people read it and they seem to like it, so that's the only reason I'm really taking this seriously. Um, to all of those who showed up at my house um, and have been there, you know, the last two months, talking with me, helping me get this thing going, I just want to say thank you. you know, uh, that's really cool because I'm nobody. I'm just going to film school, trying to make it happen. And I had like 30 people here at my tiny little apartment all ready to go, all ready to help me out. And I wasn't paying any of them anything. So that's super encouraging. And I feel this was a good thing. It took me a couple days, but now I can take it more seriously. The product will be better. Honestly, the product will be better. Um, I can gather up some supplies that I know now that I definitely, definitely need to invest in for this film. And I'm not afraid to say that if it takes another year before I shoot this film, that's fine. Because that'll give me the proper time to nurture this idea and not butcher, not butcher it. Um, so I know a lot of you are going to still be there and help me out and, uh, you know, make this thing a reality. But I'm not rushing it. So, um, you'll hear more from me about what I'm going to do. I'll keep in contact with the uh, owner of the location and we'll go from there. Uh, like I said, and uh, the biggest reason I'm even making this video is to thank everybody that came out. Uh, my girlfriend, uh, she's been supportive about it, uh, annoyed at times because it was all I talked about. Uh, Dalton for helping me out in all the videos I do all the time. Um, Joey Finolio for being there, helping me out, giving me ideas. Eric Armstrong, Mark McGrath for literally sitting through the whole process with me. And then all the just random people that were like, yeah, yeah, I'll be a zombie. That's cool. So I hope everybody stays tuned and keeps interest. And you'll hear more from me about what we're gonna do to get this thing going again and uh, stay excited because I still am. Thanks guys, I really appreciate it.